Brown State of Ohio to voting machine irregularity is reported in North Carolina and Colorado, two very important states. Also, voters in New York and New Jersey hit hard by Hurricane Sandy, finding multiple obstacles in their way to voting and lawyers for both campaigns apparently are staying very busy with all this going on. Judge Andrew Napolitano is here. He's a Fox News senior uh, Fox News judicial analyst. Judge, any of those things that we just mentioned raise a red flag that you think could present a, a big issue uh, this election time? Well, they all could present a big issue, uh, Jenna. I mean, people were, could argue in New York and New Jersey where the outcome for the presidential election is probably not in dispute. We didn't get a chance to vote. 25 percent of us didn't get a chance to vote. So give us a chance to vote on Wednesday. State is without authority to do that in the presidential election. They can let people vote on Wednesday for other candidates, but federal law requires that all voting for president be concluded before midnight local time everywhere in the United States. So period underscore underscore that correct. The governors and the legislatures of the various states cannot change that. On the other hand, we had the incident that you um, addressed in the uh, introduction to the segment in Florida, where lawyers sued the state of Florida to allow uh, the polls to stay open later on early voting days. Well, that is easily within the discretion of, of the states. If you permit early voting and you're about to close at 11 o'clock and there's 500 people in line, you should give them the right to vote. If, if it comes 8 o'clock tonight in New Jersey when the sure. polls close and there's 500 people in line and it goes out the door and around the block, those people get to vote, even though they might not get in the building until 9.30. But that's up for the state to say we're extending the hours until 11.59 yes. p.m. Yes. Just as, as, as a judge watching elections, though, it seems that every year we get some of these problems that crop up. Is this different? Do you, do you, hear, you think you hear more this time around, less? How does it compare? I'll tell you what's different this year is that there are now thousands of lawyers in the United States of America who are election law experts. Now, there was no such thing as an election law expert in 2000 when we had Bush versus Gore. Since then, law students are taught this in law school, and they become lawyers, and they become expert in the field. So remember, we have 51 separate elections tonight, the 50 states and the District of Columbia. It looks like it's a national election, but it's all these separate elections. In each one of these jurisdictions, there are Democratic lawyers and Republican lawyers champing at the bit to help bring about the outcome that their party wants by using the courts uh, to do so. But this can only happen if there's a, if there's a significant system-wide problem, if a large number of people are not permitted to vote, or if a large number of people vote more than once. Whichever the case may be, this could get into the hands of a judge. And then you have the issue of impoundment. When a judge says, you know what, like it's midnight. <laughs> yeah, it's midnight, and I don't feel like supervising the counting of these votes now. I'm going to lock them up until 8 in the morning. We'll resume the counting of them then. Just well, then the whole country is on pins and needles. One scenario. Okay, Judge, we'll watch for that. Did you vote yet already today? Uh, well, we had early voting for the first time in my lifetime in New Jersey. I voted on Saturday. Just making sure And was you happy to do so. Checking the box. Legally, of course, Judge. Of course, Got Jenna. my eye on you. All right. <laughs> all right Jenna, Judge. you can have your eye on me all you want. Oh, yeah, you just stop. And vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, thank you very much. John?